Here in St Joseph's, we're determined to improve the quality of teaching and learning in mathematics. We've invested in quality resources, extra training for teachers and in tightly focused planning. This year, we offered one of our sixth classes the opportunity to enhance the mathematical experiences of other students by hosting a SNAP Math Fair. Student centred. Non competitive. All inclusive. Problem based. Planning began early in September under the guidance of their enthusiastic and energetic teacher. We enlisted the help of parents who agreed to assist with lots of home preparation and we chose the theme of Halloween as the fair would take place during National Maths Week in October. And then we got down to work. It's really fun. I, um, I just enjoy working on it because it just shows that maths isn't always about like your head boiling up inside. It, you can use strategies and thinking ahead for this maths fair. It's really fun. I enjoyed working with the children on this project. It's a very different way of teaching maths. Welcome to Daniel's and Shay's Spider Spring. Well, what do you think so far, Anna, working on the maths fair? I think it's good because there's a lot of art involved and most children love art. Oh, what about maths? And maths. The introduction of problem-solving puzzles certainly got the whole school community working together. Here we see a parent, a teacher and our caretaker all poring over a puzzle. When I heard about the maths fair I thought it was going to be really boring but when we started into it I found solving the puzzles really fun. At first the children had to pick a problem then they have to solve the problem. And once the problem was solved, they had to discover different ways to differentiate it to suit the different age groups and levels throughout the school. Once that was done, they had to figure out hints that would help the other children find the solution. And finally, they had to develop confidence skills to present the problem in front of an audience. Um, well, it took us a long time to decide one problem. Um, because there's lots of them and we couldn't decide which one um, was the perfect one for us. Um, but, but I'm delighted that we picked Hook a Duck because everyone likes getting their hands dirty and hooking the duck and everything and it's like a fun fair team with the math fair and all that. It was great fun and I think I learned a lot from the math fair. I can really see now how you can use maths in everyday life. Maths Week is a brilliant addition to the school calendar in that it gives the children the opportunity to have mathematical experiences in a very safe and child-friendly manner, particularly the Maths Fair this year where children are focusing on problem solving and that is a preparation for life. One of the big challenges for young people today is solving problems and Maths Challenges, and we have particularly interesting ones laid out this year, gives children the opportunity to work together individually or with their families in solving problems that they can apply then to different situations.
to just finish up by congratulating all you wonderful young people who have done fantastic work. Even just the, the, the presentation of all this, the video invite we got was mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. We sent it to the organizer of Snap Maths Fair in Canada, Tanya Thompson, and she was so excited by it. Great. And she wants to put it on their website and everything. She's so excited and she said she wished she could have been here. Um, but so first of all, congratulations to all the young people, and secondly to the teachers. And for you to keep on our website and shall not and full college thought of on the sketchy of the show. Distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, students, and parents and teachers, uh, I am delighted to be here. Why am I here? <laughs> first of all, I got a very scary invitation. <laughs> No doubt that I'd be in trouble if I didn't come here. I got a very persuasive invitation and letter from Mrs. Laura, who mentioned the doc 15 times yeah. in the message I got. And the real reason I'm here is twofold. Uh, one is, I've heard about this amazing school in Dublin many times, uh, again and again. I've seen you on television before, the school, many times. Um, but I'm also a huge fan of maths. And I'll tell you why in a few minutes. Maths is fun. It is generally fun, and once you start to understand numbers and play with numbers and work out puzzles, you saw it come in at the games, puzzles, just problems. I always love solving problems. The second thing, and it's very important, it's kind of related to fun, is maths enables you to understand the world. Almost all the jobs in the world now require some understanding of maths. In fact, I was at a lecture a few months ago uh, that said, by the time you're coming out of secondary school, 14 out of every 15 jobs will require maths. 14 out of every 15 jobs will require maths. So if you don't have maths, you really just reduce your chances of getting a job. Right. In the video itself, I've been uh, admiring what you said on the video in terms of the excitement of what you're doing and what you get out of it, but also, most importantly, listening to your teachers about how wonderful you've been. You guys should be hugely Please with yourselves, you should congratulate yourselves, you should look for special treatment at home tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope that the O'Connell and the teachers will actually look be, be very kind to you in terms of what you've done. But I would encourage you to stick at it. That's the important thing. Don't stop now. You're now in the sixth class, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Stick at it. Keep going. But you've all got huge futures in front of you. You've shown the commitment, you've shown the ability already. Stick at it. Um, and I look forward to seeing so many of you in DCU before long creating the next inventions, changing the world, which you can do, which you can absolutely do.
from the obvious educational benefits, it was just great fun working with the children on this project.